Let's talk about Moonlight. Now, this movie I was really, really excited for, and for the most part, it lived up to the hype. The film tells the story of Tyrion, who is a gay child, young man, and adult throughout the film. And he kind of grows up in a really rough area with a drug-addicted mother, and it's, it's a really sad story, but it's also got a lot of kind of positive elements going on as well. The film starts with Tyrion as a young, confused child growing up with a troubled mother in a rough area. Then you see him in his teenage years struggling to fit in and trying to figure out why he's different and why he can't quite fit in with everyone else. And finally, without giving too much away here, you get to see him as an adult later on who has really changed himself in many ways. The best part about the film is that it really tells this story in a very honest and sincere way and really doesn't hold anything back. However, it does take too long in many of the scenes to just get to the point or at least to get some type of dialogue between the characters. Some of these scenes can kind of just drag on for a little bit and you just want you want some type of you know conversation to get started so you can kind of understand the characters more but a lot of times in these scenes, the director relies a little bit more on silence. Now the film was written and directed by Barry Jenkins who does a really excellent job with the film. Overall, it's a really good looking film. You feel like it was very well made, very well thought out, and it creates some pretty memorable scenes. The music, the score, and the overall sound quality is also very impressive. All of the acting in the film is strong and each version of Sharon is kind of unique, but yet they feel consistent throughout. It feels like the same person. To me, I didn't really have any kind of standout performances that I thought were really incredible, but each actor plays their role really perfectly and it all feels like it fits. Now the film does have a few other problems. You know, it starts off much stronger than it finishes. And if there were just more dialogue and more conversations going on to give you a little bit more insight into Sharon's character, into his mind, it could have been a really great film. Those silent scenes and the silence in general in the film can work really well in this film and other films, but a lot of times it just doesn't quite work and you just feel like you need a little bit more going on here. Overall, I give Moonlight a four out of five for being a really effective drama told through the eyes of one character essentially throughout his life. The film's got great photography, a really solid cast, and an interesting but sometimes too slow of story. So let me know what you guys think of Moonlight down in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next Culture Critic.